Taurus, welcome to your reading. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. Let's just get some Palo Santo all around here. Just clears out the energy. Welcome to your reading, Taurus. I got messages for you. Let's see what comes up. These messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits and leave the rest. Okay. So, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Taurus, you guys are patient, right? Be patient with me because, you know, I'm so not prepared today. Um, So, I have to like shuffle these decks. And we just going to pull you guys some cards and we're going to see what's going on. I'm trying to figure out which decks I want to use. Make sure you guys like this video. Um, share my videos. To those of you that have been sharing my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, I really, really appreciate that. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, protect me as I channel the messages here for Taurus. Any and all negative energy sent to me shall be returned to sender instantly. So it may be. One of the most important messages for Taurus here at this time. What is the most important messages here for Taurus at this time, Spirit of Angels and Ancestors? Allow me to be a channel for Taurus to give them clarity for their intuition, to help them see, or just bring awareness. All right. So right off back here, um, there is something here that has been exposed, okay, about somebody's like delays or frustration here. This could be like somebody arguing here or they're arguing with you, okay, or somebody's trying to start an argument here with you, Taurus, not sure, okay. Something here could be going on in somebody's work environment. They could be a tower or somebody here could be having an episode. As soon as I said that, all of these birds just started chirping so i'm hearing like a lot of gossip a lot of chitter chatter a lot of arguing this could be going on while you're at work taurus this could be like work gossip all right so let's see we got the six of wands in reverse the death card in reverse And we got the Hierophant. So, Taurus, your energy is coming out. I don't know who this is. That could be taking a fall from grace. Looks like it could be a Leo. Um, That could be in your energy. Or somebody here is like, either either you could be um taking some time away from the public eye. Or somebody here in this energy could be taking a fall from grace. I feel like this energy here is like very um resistant to change. They're ignoring the personal transformation here that they need to... um. They need to have this personal transformation here, okay? In order to be in this uh, hierophant energy, in order to be respected, in order to be... I don't even know if that all coincide with each other. Hmm. I see somebody here could be feeling ignored by you. Could be a Leo. Um... Whoever this is, this person could be very much stagnant. It's like they're not trying to strip away like worthless matter or whatever. Mm. So it's like ego. Somebody here could be fame hungry here as well. What's the six of wands in reverse? Yeah, we got the justice in reverse. Wow. Whoever this is, this is their karma. Because they failed to take accountability. You could be dealing with a Libra. If somebody failed to take some type of accountability here for what they did. And now this is like their punishment is to be ignored. Okay? Whoever this is, they're no longer popular. They're not in the public eye anymore. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody here is a liar. They cause nothing but confusion amongst people here with the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all could be definitely dealing with a Libra energy. Okay, this is someone here that could be like, or this could be an uh, Aquarius or a Gemini. This don't have to be just a Libra. This could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. This person here, they could be like very dismissive when it comes to them, like um, trying to take or or you making this person take accountability for themselves. They could be very dismissive, like oh, 
it wasn't that bad, but it was. Like, this is someone here, they, yeah, what's the justice in reverse? So, either somebody here, they're just dishonest. Yeah, we got the emperor. Okay, so we got Aries energy. This could be a boss, a CEO, a father figure, or somebody here that's very, that's an entrepreneur, somebody that runs a business. This could just be a father. This could be someone here that, I don't know, the Knight of Cups in reverse, though. It came out with the emperor. The emperor's in the upright. So I'm looking at this person as like they're very stable. But it's like this energy is re either this energy is refusing to take accountability or there was some type of bad news when it comes to like a law, the law, the justice system, the court. Somebody here is like getting bad news when it comes to court. I'm getting this energy could have been like manipulative or they could have been like um doing something here. But I feel like someone here is like, um, they be, they're probably trying to come and love bomb you because you're not showing this person any attention. This could be the father of your kids. This could be a masculine. Who is this emperor up here? Please, spirit. Let me know. The 10 of, okay, so this could be your father that could be traveling towards you. So I'm getting, if, if your father is like a Libra, Aries type of energy, this person is not taking accountability for something that they did. In fact, they, I'm getting this person. They could be very unreliable. This could be a father figure that's unreliable. It's like they say that they'll be there and then they, they, they're they not going to be there. What's the emperor though? Yeah, we got the chariot. Yeah, so I feel like, um, what's the emperor with the chariot? This person can have cancer placements. Somebody can have cancer placements, eight of swords in reverse. Either somebody here, they're not stuck. Whoever this is, it's like they got bad news when it comes to the court system. Either somebody could have been just released from jail. Okay. But the chariot talks all about, you know what I mean, willpower, determination, success, movement, direction. Um, maybe this person could be coming towards you, Taurus. Okay, after, I don't know, somebody here could have been just released from somewhere. I feel like the way this person can move ahead, how they can get ahead, is if they release themselves for these, from this self-limiting beliefs here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is how they could, you know, move forward in life or, I don't know, what's, this, what's the chariot? Something here, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, and then we got the Page of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse. So it's like, I'm getting somebody here is moving, but they're not, or it's like, this could be an illusion that somebody here is moving forward, but really, in all actuality, they're not moving forward. And you know what I'm picking up? This could be the police, like, following someone. Like, I'm getting, like, a spy or a detective that's, like, following this person around. They're in a patrol car. I'm getting an unmarked car following someone around. And they're watching this individual here with the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is someone here that's, like, watching this individual. I feel like it could be this emperor here that's being watched, okay? The police is following this person everywhere they go i don't know if someone made a call to the police or somebody called the police on this person i don't know but it's looking like the authorities are involved and they're following this person for some of you this could just be the father of your kids that ran or or the mother of your kids or whoever this could be somebody here that's ran ran a smear campaign about you. They say that you were lazy or you're a deadbeat dad. You don't do shit for your children or a deadbeat mother or whoever. But I'm seeing the emperor out here. So that's daddy energy. Okay. So I feel like there's an individual that's just not taking accountability for something that they did. They refuse to be honest. They're just unfair. The Knight of Cups in reverse is that's just unfairness um, as well. Okay. And it's like, this is the type of individual that feel like they can still persevere and move forward, even though they're not taking accountability. For some of you, I don't know. This person is just going to have a lot of legal issues that they're going to have to pay for. Okay? And this is what's going to put them in a Knight of Pentacles back in reverse. It's like somebody like gets one up. 
for a little minute, but since they don't want to take accountability, since they refuse to do the right thing, it's like these fees just hit their ass out of nowhere. Some type of legal fees. Yeah, and then they have to pay it. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And then somebody has to drop a big bag. And I'm getting they know why. They have clarity as to why. Because they know they're not taking accountability. They know this is their karma or this is some type of punishment here. What's the death card in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is someone here that's not trying to change or they feel like something is over no matter how long. Like, I feel like this is the energy that no matter what problems that we go through in a relationship, it's never going to be over. I don't give a damn if we broke up. I'm not going to change. And you're still going to deal with me. Even though we have misaligned values, even though there's no connection, we still can be together just for the sake of the children. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, we could just be together for the sake of the children. I don't like you. You don't like me. I'm going to cheat on you. You're going to cheat on me. And that's just what it is. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to cheat on you. 11-11, you're going to cheat on me with the three of swords. This person, like, emotional immaturity here. Like, this is just wow here. That's what I'm seeing. Even though, like, there's a, there's this unhappy couple here. Somebody is just like, we just going to stay together for the children. Even though we have so many ups and downs, arguments, or there's problems within our relationship here. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it on lock. We're going to keep it together here. What's the Ten of Cups and the Death in Reverse? All just for the kids. I mean, yeah, we got the Two of Cups in reverse and then we got the star so yeah so somebody could be in a very dysfunctional family type of like union there's a lot of imbalance and and distrust but i feel like somebody here is still having hope that they can heal this connection they're still having hope like no we can heal this connection sometimes when some shit is over it's just over okay but somebody here is like still inspired they're like no i still have hope but with the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups in reverse, somebody, this is this is like tension and balance. These these people are not equally yoked. Maybe you don't have kids by this person. Maybe this is something new here with the star card. Okay, something spiritual, something new, something like you know what I mean. But I feel like somebody here could be renewing their vows, or yeah, with the hierophant here, or they're trying to keep the you know stay strong in this commitment in this union here, Taurus. I don't know. Even though they're dealing with somebody here that's very codependent. Okay. But this talks about um, the two of cups usually talks about like domestic violence. It's like people fight. This couple fights and then like, okay, we, we good now after I just punched you in the fucking mouth or I slapped the fuck out of you. We good now. All right. We can heal it now. We good. <laughs> this is crazy. It's so dysfunctional. You know, but yeah, like I said, after I done fought you and I done slapped the fuck out of you, I done beat your ass, we good now. It's like, there are so many disagreements here due to an individual not taking accountability. It could be this emperor. I don't know. The emperor is showing up upright like they're balanced, but I'm getting this emperor could have been running a smear campaign about somebody. This person could be the one with the legal issues. This person could be the one that's very deceptive because of the car surrounding by it. I don't see this a, a cup. All I see is the two of cups in reverse. And then splitting the deck, we got the tower, the sun. So something is going to be exposed that's, that's just not going to like be happy. This is going to create some type of struggle here. I'm getting whatever was in the dark is going to come to the light or something like that. What's the five of wands? So, yeah, we got the two of wands. We got Leo, Aries, and Aquarius energy. What's the two of wands in reverse? Five of wands, the knight of swords. Either somebody here, like, Gemini energy. Either somebody here is, like, very disorganized. Or it's like every time they make some type of plan here to do something, it always falls apart. Because I'm getting this is an individual that could be very unrealistic. Okay? They don't have any follow-through. So, it's like they could be restricted. This person could be like crazy. This is, somebody here is like ready to fight somebody. Either because they were rejected, the two of cups, they don't want to be in a partnership with them. But I'm getting... <sighs> I 
I feel like somebody was rejected to keep their peace and keep their sanity here with the temperance. To keep the peace, to keep everything balanced here. Whoever this individual is, they could be like unfocused. They they don't have a care for the consequences. Like they don't. You could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aries, a Leo, a Aquarius, a Cancer, or a Pisces here. This person could be, they're very unpredictable when it comes to like arguing and shit. Like one minute, this person just like nut the fuck up out the blue on some crazy shit. I'm getting this could be a Gemini or a Leo. What's the, Or this person has significant Gemini Leo placements. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? I'm trying to tell you the Knight of Wands. This person will pull up on your ass so quick. Or this person's like one minute they want to fight you and the next minute they want to fuck you. This is crazy. So one minute this person wants to fight you or it's like they want to fight you while they have sex with you or I don't know. This kind of like turns them on or some shit like that. Whatever this is, this inspires this person's lustful behavior. Okay. Or this could even just be your children, your teenage kids fighting, arguing and shit. Because one of, them, one of them is like very fiery and impulsive and the other one is very disorganized and scattered. So this could be like them fighting over like cleanliness, like, well, no, like you didn't clean your side of the room or something like that. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm getting into with that. You didn't clean your side of the room. What's the Hierophant, though? The Three of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like there's someone here that could be cheating on their on their lover here with a Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. Yeah, so somebody's cheating on their wife. Okay. Or their husband or whatever. Or they're lying to their husband or their wife. So I feel like somebody here is being scammed to be in a commitment and they're getting cheated on. What's the nine of pentacles here? In reverse with the three of swords. Yeah, I feel like um, you could be getting clarity when it comes to this cheater, this liar, this person that likes to break your heart or whoever this is. I don't know who this is, Taurus, okay? But whoever this is, like, this is like a love triangle. This could be a divorce. Because I feel like somebody here was too, like, codependent. They were a scammer. Maybe you found out somebody here was a sex worker or they were just doing too much. I feel like this person possibly tried to hustle you. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? This could be your ex. This could be a Virgo. Yeah, the nine of cups. I feel like this is somebody wish. I feel like somebody wants someone to be codependent. They're satisfied with, with their person being codependent, being needy, um, going through these setbacks. I feel like somebody here could have been laughing at someone because they went through some type of setbacks or, or whatever. This is like somebody laughing at an individual struggle or... Yeah, because you in poverty, I'm going to laugh at you or, or whatever. Who does not have pentacles? Not this person. It can't be this. Look at this couple. Oh, we can't be talking about this couple here. The will of, with the king and queen of pentacles in reverse. Going through bad karma. All because they lied. What is this? Yeah, when it comes to dealing with this warlock, they're going through a backfire. So somebody here is laughing at somebody's struggle. But this is a couple that do anything for money. They could be going through a negative phase right now in their life. Now, hopefully, I don't know who this is. They could be trying to laugh at somebody's setbacks or they're laughing at what somebody does like when it comes to like their hustle or or whatever. Maybe because this energy isn't codependent or somebody here could be taken or somebody wants to take care of an individual. This would provide them some type of emotional stability or somebody feels confident when a woman, the nine of pentacles is a woman energy and the nine of cups is like a man energy to me whoever this masculine is they find it comfortable when a woman is like um 
going through setbacks, okay? This is what pleases them. This is what makes them feel some type of way. This provides them with some type of stability or, or comfort when a woman is doing bad. When a woman is, is up on their feet, they're intimidated like a pussy ass little bitch. But like, look, look at this. We got the king to the queen of pentacles. We got a dark witch and we got we got a, a moocher that could be going through karma here. Who is this? Give me this king of queen of pentacles in reverse. This person here, yeah, four swords. Look, they made peace with that karma. I'm getting this could be a lazy couple that don't do nothing. I feel like this queen of pentacles here in reverse. This could be a very jealous, bitter ass mom. And this king of pentacles in reverse. It's like this, these people like are money hungry or they're trying to like heal. Okay. That's what I'm getting. This could be a couple that's trying to heal from some type of tower. They need to be healing because if somebody here is trying to laugh at someone, okay, like a single energy that's, I don't know. Why is they laughing at the single energy? Yeah, we got the high priestess. Why is this nine of cups laughing at the single energy? What's going on? We got the hangman because they were surrendered or they was left hanging. I feel like somebody here is just like very enlightened or I don't know, um, Taurus. It's like somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to leave you hanging. I'm going to let you know when I want to deal with you. And then like they laugh at this person. But then at the same time, they want to come back because they possibly like overspent. They don't have any money. And I don't want to come back to the same nine of pentacles who they're looking at in reverse. Or this person has a false sense of success or, or whatever. I'm getting this is just how this person views this nine of pentacles. I'm getting this nine of pentacles is really in the upright. But this nine of cups energy is so selfish and self-centered. To the point where they have to view this person as like they're beneath them. That's what I'm getting. What's next for Taurus? Yeah, the Empress in reverse. I don't know who this distorted feminine is that's lacking some type of creative. Um, Who this Empress is in reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is losing. They're losing out on their finances, their opportunities. They're disorganized. This could be a bad investment. Somebody missed their chance. Okay, I'm getting this could be a distorted feminine here in this energy. This person could be very dependent. It could be who this nine of pentacles is in reverse. Or maybe somebody here is looking at someone as a distorted feminine. Okay. Empress in reverse. Yeah, the three of pentacles. But they want to work together from this per with this person. Who did this come out in? Did this come out in? This came out in somebody else's reading. I'm not even sure if this empress is supposed to be in reverse. I just feel like somebody wants this person to be and decides that they want this person to lose out on opportunities. They want this person to um, have some type of creative block. This would bring this Nine of Cups satisfaction. If this Empress, I'm going to turn it up in the upright, y'all. If this Empress was to experience some type of like downward spiral here. I feel like this Empress really, really is supposed to be in the upright. Yeah, 313. But I'm getting this individual could be like collaborating and teaming up with people here when it comes to this empress. Don't know why. Who is this teaming up? Why are they teaming up when it comes to this empress? What's up? Yeah, it's a ruinous person. It's like somebody's trying to figure out ways how they can call this empress a hypocrite. This could be an organization here that's doing this. Somebody here is like going against the rules. They doing something real slick. Now, nah. what's the three of pentacles here? Yeah, this is another group here that's confused with the seven of cups. Yeah, give me this group. The, the hangman. This group was left hanging. What's this group with the hangman here? Pisces, Capricorn energy. What's up with it? Queen of Swords. Yeah, Libra energy, Aquarius, or Gemini. Somebody here called out this group. They said something. Okay, or maybe you called out this group. What's this Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles? Somebody has Libra placements. This could be a Libra that called out a group. And now somebody here is like pausing or they're, they're letting something go or they're like, nah, we need to sacrifice this or let this go. I feel like this Queen of Swords called out some type of, um, this is a, this is an Empress energy. This is a Libra energy. Okay. So I feel like somebody was trying to sacrifice this person. Taurus. And this person is very much enlightened. They use their discernment. This person could have called out a mother figure. 
Yeah. So the distorted feminine could be a mom, a, a mother figure that that took an L from working together here with this group. This could be an older, a older mother here. That's at a distance. The three of wands. Yeah. This person was trying to make plans. So I feel like this could be two empresses. One empress is in the upright and the other empress is in reverse. They're losing. So maybe this empress is supposed to be in reverse. This is somebody's shady ass mama that tried to play them. A distorted feminine. They tried to play them. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you possibly called this person out. Okay. You called out this empress or whoever the fuck this is. I don't know. At a distance too. Uh huh. Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles. We're working together here with this group. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like that group ain't going nowhere. The whole group is stuck. And I'm getting that's what they get. Because they was trying to be unfair. Somebody here was trying to take somebody's like projects, their inspiration. Their, it's like their power. Their willpower to create. They were trying to take this shit from an individual. King of Cups, the Ace of, Ace of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Somebody here does this shit in their sleep. It's like they try to like take from other people while they're sleeping. Look, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, dark magic, the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Somebody likes to collect from people like sacral energy while they're resting. And this is crazy. Mm-mm. Somebody said energy vampire. Yeah, a very much on the succubus, incubus type shit that I'm picking up on. It's kind of like creepy here. I don't like that. It's, some, it's just like nasty. This is someone, yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Look, it, this is just, this, this is weird. Somebody literally like goes and collects from different energies and they steal their energy so that way they can take it back to create their own empress or I don't know, man. Who is this that's stealing from energies here? I'm feeling, I'm picking up that. Yeah, they travel to go do this. Six of Swords, man. They go from place to place, traveling to go and, and, and take on somebody's sacral energy. This person's under judgment for that. Judgment in reverse, yep. And this person is not aware. Either they're not aware that they're doing this. Look, the Ace of Wands. Either this person is not aware that they're doing this. They're, they're, they're sucking somebody else's energy. But they have to be aware of it because they're under judgment. This person is going through some type of like heavy punishment right now. I don't know who this is, Taurus, but this shit is wild. Listen, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So. Yeah, this is crazy. Yep, the Knight of Cups. This person goes and love bomb everybody. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. And then a cycle, and then they complete some type of cycle, and then they go back very passionate with the Knight of Wands in reverse and rush towards people here with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody here, like, literally, like, feeds off of other people to gain some type of peace, peace or balance here within their life. And it's crazy. 28, 28. What's the messages here for Taurus? And let's end this reading. This is kind of wild. I don't like energy like that. I don't like picking up that way. What's this? Yeah, I feel like there's not going to be no reunion. We got reunion in reverse. Return of someone important. Loyalty, honesty, friendship. Try again. And loyal person or situation coming together after separation. Can't stay away. Celebrations. I feel like you're staying away from somebody or somebody is staying away from you. I am also feel like somebody here is not loyal. They're not honest. They're not a good friend. Okay, this is not somebody that you can depend on. This is somebody here that you got to keep far fucking away from you because this is an energy that likes to like take your energy, take your sacral energy. Yeah, pride and ego. Somebody's very prideful. They're all, they're narcissistic, stone hearted, stubborn, overly ambitious, showing off, only thinking of self, selfish ego. Yeah, this person could be only thinking about themselves. This person shows off a lot. I can't stand motherfuckers like that. They show off a lot. Yeah, they could be wanting to send you a message. Oh, they want you to spend some time with them. Call or message. An important message needs to be heard. Sending a message. Unexpected news. Needed to know the results. Yeah, so somebody needs to know if they... Um, okay, what's the message about? Okay, if you want to travel with them. This could be a business opportunity. Okay. 
somebody wants to know if you're going to travel with them out of town or something like that and they're waiting for you to like message them back what's this message about yeah a gift equal give and take generosity romantic appreciate and take it for granted for efforts give towards yourself somebody wants to give you something what's this gift for message yeah this give okay leave behind move on ending Cut communication, ghosting, disappearing, no longer available, invisible, feeling abandoned, feeling forgotten. This person is, is it wants to give you a gift for ghosting you or leaving you behind or some shit like that. Yeah, they actually want to surprise you with this gift. Okay, Taurus. I don't know, but give me one more card and we're going to end it there. I watch your YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yep. I told you this energy tried to sacrifice your life. Due to like having sex with you, I feel like you got this in your dreams. Your angels and your guys told you about this in your dreams that this person was going to try to sacrifice you. You paid attention to synchronicities and I feel like you're not reuniting with this person. I don't give a fuck if it's a friend or a bitch. We can't be cordial. We can't talk on the phone. We can't do none of that. Somebody wanted to sacrifice the real empress so that they could please a fake ass empress. They thought that they was going to be, they was going to turn this doppelganger into you. For some of you, that's what I'm getting. Somebody wanted to turn this nine of pentacles in reverse, this empress in reverse, into the upright. I feel like you are the upright, you are the emperor, and you called this shit the fuck out. Period. Somebody's trying to, like, take your energy and give it to somebody else. Like, you know how, like, what's that? Was it Frankenstein? So it's alive. Or Einstein, when they created like the doppelgangers and shit. I think, ain't that where the doppelgangers came from? Einstein or Frankenstein or some shit. It's alive. Or whatever. But I don't know. I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'm going to leave it there. Bye.